Okay, so although my bike is currently loaded with soft panniers and a tail bag back here, I thought I needed a little more space. And the reason for that was I got a new drone. So what I decided to do was to put the giant loop Diablo tank bag on the bike. And it's gonna say something like that. So I'm sure this orange circle would look great on a KTM, but it's just not gonna work on the Husqvarna. Okay, so I fixed the color on that with just a little vinyl overlay. So here's a little up close view of the bag. As you can see on top, it has got this clear window where you can put a map or you can put your phone or a small tablet of some type. Uh, it does have the zipper that goes all the way around here. Kind of has a ledge as well that helps hold rain out. Um, they do provide a dry bag to put inside, but I think with this bag, it's gonna be pretty waterproof without even needing this dry bag. The interior space looks pretty good. There is this movable partition. So you'll be able to place that in there wherever you need to if you want to use the partition. Up at the top, there's also a zipper area. Looks like there's a little catch in here if you want to hook your keys on. And another pocket here, or that pocket actually gives you access to the front clear window area. You can see how it's clear on the front. I think it's a great looking bag. And especially now that I changed the color of this to yellow, I love that. It looks great on the Norden. There's also this rear pocket here that's kind of elastic. You can put stuff down in there, whether you're just storing trash in it or if you've got something else to shove into that area, keep handy. How about you're hopping off the bike and you just want to stash your gloves somewhere where they don't blow off the bike while you're away from it. You could use this back elastic pocket just to, to fold your gloves up um, in and stick them in the pocket. And the bottom base of it is this piece here which is attached by this lower zipper that goes all the way around and then the bag just lifts off of it and the base stays attached to the bike. Okay, so if you unzip it from the base, you can see how it will lift off the bag wheel. This base piece is actually cut out to go around the, the filler or the tank cap area. This stays attached to the bike and you can remove the bag easily. I noticed inside the bag that the floor seemed a little bit higher than the depth of the sides here. And then after exploring it and seeing other reviews of it, that's because it is concave and curved up here to give you room in case your, your gas tank cap has a filler or has a vent hose on it. Uh, that way it doesn't crimp that vent hose. We don't need to worry about that with the Norden. But I feel like I lost a little bit of space. As you can see, it kind of goes up in there almost an inch. So at this end, it is not as deep as I had hoped it would be. So that's the upper end of the tank. You're gonna have about two inches there. It's like about six and a half inches. This bag, at least the opening is about 10 inches long and the width of the bag is around eight inches. I think it's gonna be plenty for what I'm looking for is I wanted it to store my drone in to have easy access to it. So here's the example with the DJI Mini 2 drone in place. I have the Fly More kit, so it has this battery bank that holds the three batteries, the actual drone itself, the controller, all those things will fit easily in there. Still have room for other items in the bag as well. And it's gonna be convenient right in front of me. Okay, let's size up this harness and see how it might actually fit on the bike. Oh, this is looking pretty ideal. So right up here in the front, I just took that single strap, ran it underneath here, making sure not to go over the top of the clutch cable, just getting under the frame, run it out the other side, back up here through the buckle. And then there's this actual stretchy piece that you can pull your extra strap into and put it under to keep it out of the way. And remember your bag's gonna zip on top of this when you put it in place. So it'll completely conceal the extra strap that you hide under there. We're gonna try it up about that high and see what it looks like. Okay, so this is my first attempt at positioning it and really concealing all the straps for this harness that stays in place. I'm trying to feed it down behind the seat and see if there's some way possible that I can still get the seat on here and the bag not, the bag not be too far forward. I don't think it's going to work, but if it would, that would be really sweet. I have the seat in the high position, which pushes all the way forward. That might make it even more difficult to make this work. Okay, well, this took quite a bit of cramming, but if you ride with your seat in the low position, you just might be able to push these tabs, straps under the seat and not have the straps on the outside. But is that gonna put the bag too far forward? Let's see. Okay, wow. If you are a low seat position person, 
looks like you could pull this off. You can put the bag with the rear straps going underneath the front part of the seat. And that looks awfully clean. Now, is it too far forward? It's up there, that's for sure, which is fine with me. It gives me more room to stand up here at the back. But turning the bars, see this side over here? Yeah, it fits. It's not making contact with the bars. It fits well. Oh, unfortunately, I'm a high seat person. But I don't know. I love the look of it there with the seat in the low position and the straps going underneath the front of the seat to secure it. So if you're trying to install this with the seat in the low position, this is what I've done. You can see I ran the straps inside here. I believe I ran them first to the outside of the frame member. Back around on the inside and back up through. Let's do that on both sides. And then you might have to make sure you have access to these two points where the front of the seat slides into place. Okay, I'm about to start giggling because I'm so thrilled. I was able to tuck those under with the straps secured and put the seat in the high position. Now, it wasn't easy. You had to make sure you pulled outward on these flaps so that the, uh, the part of the seat that goes over and hooks would get behind them. I also had to loosen the straps a little more to give it more room. So it sticks out just a little bit, but now I don't have straps coming down completely across the outside of the bodywork. So this is, again, the Giant Loop Diablo bag. And I am super excited about this feature here. This is how you remove the bag. You just unzip it off of the base. Just like that. You got a handle, take the bag in with you. It doesn't even look that bad, leaving that in place. You can he see here that the straps actually, you put them through buckles, you tighten them up, you can put the extra strap under these stretchy areas. It's a nice clean look. Even with the seat in the high position, the bag attached, which is as far forward as it can go pretty much, I'm not having problems with the handlebars clearing. You can still turn the bag fully. I believe that it might go over the handlebars up here at this front corner, just a little bit, but is not interfering with the steering in any way. So I just took my RAM mount off of the ball here because I think if I'm gonna put my phone somewhere that's not in my pocket, I'll put it up here underneath this clear piece. I never liked it mounted to the handlebars because it causes a lot of vibration and that vibration interprets into destroying your image stabilization if you have an iPhone. I think this will be perfect to leave on all the time. Even when I'm not running those uh, rear soft panniers, it's just gonna be super convenient to have somewhere to throw items. Here's one more fun feature I just found. Looks like you can somewhat secure it there. If you don't like to listen to zippers rattle, you can also just stick that pull underneath this stretchy tab here. Thanks for watching this video. I'm really happy with how this came out with the yellow vinyl overlay on it. I even added some yellow vinyl to my helmet. I hope you guys enjoyed the video as well. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel.